Hi there, it's Melissa and I'm back on the Scrapery channel. I know it's Saturday, I meant to be up on a Tuesday, but um, things didn't work out as planned, but I'm really pleased to be with you here today. So what I'm making for you today is this mini album from a single piece of cardstock and it's a cut file that was designed by B. Villant and her blog is My Shiny Studio. She also has a YouTube channel and I'm going to link her below because this cut file is amazing. Like I said, it's a mini album and I had filmed me showing you where to fold it. The cut file um, scores as well, so all you do is fold on the score lines. And what I did was watch her video showing how she put it together so I knew which way to fold the different pieces. Now, this is not Obviously it's her idea and several people have used this album because it's free. Um, probably the most famous person that's used it recently in this industry is Paige Evans and she made a gorgeous mini album. And I just um, first of all want to thank Bee for designing such incredible cut file but also for making it free. So like I said I've linked it below and all you need to do is go over there and download it. And the requirement of course is that you give her credit um, on social media or wherever your blog, wherever you post it. So I'm using the beautiful Nigella kit which features the Pink Paisley Moonstruck collection and what I wanted to do was use some of the girly papers and cover some of the cardstock. I just used a piece of white and American Crafts cardstock. But what I'm doing here is the cut file comes with holes to put your ribbon in. I use my X-Acto knife and cut them a little bit bigger because I'm using the packaging that the kit was wrapped in. So it's a beautiful silver ribbon. It's quite, um, it's like a mix between paper and ribbon. So it's not going to tie together like a ribbon would. It does on your kit because your kit's big, but this is quite small when folded up. So you'll see what I mean when I get to the walkthrough part of this video. So also, please excuse my voice, I've got a summer cold um, where I live. We haven't really had summer this year. It's been cold, it's been raining. My two and a half year old got the cold and now I've got it. So not that great. Um, so I think, I, I think I've already mentioned, but I'm not covering every piece of the white cardstock. I want some of the white to show and I will be embellishing those parts or putting my photos on. A bit about my photos. These are some photos that my um, lovely friend Lara, she took them. She's an amazing photographer and also an amazing scrapbooker. She took these photos when Brielle was I think about 14 days old. So Brielle's our third child and our second daughter. And they're so, so beautiful that I was almost too scared to scrap them. But I really should. And um, I've got her permission to scrap them, of course. And so what I did was I used my Project Life app on my phone and I sized them to 2x2 two two squares. And Lara had given me three edits of the photos. One black and white, one just colour, and one creamy. And so I used the creamy ones. And because Brielle was wearing a purple jersey that a friend had knitted, or cardigan... I should say. I thought it would work really, really perfectly with this beautiful kit. So here I'm making a little shaker pocket and I've just used a piece of, you know, how you get your thickers or your um, embellishments in packaging. I've just cut down a piece of packaging, kept the fold in it, and then I'm just adhering it with double-sided tape and I've put sequins in between. So I'm just making a little pocket and then later on you'll see that I'll hand stitch around the pocket. So it's a double sided pocket which was a bit problematic with the stitching but I managed to figure out a way to do it and I'll tell you about that when I get to it. So, which is now, <laughs> sorry, I made this um, video last week. I was trying to get ahead but um, yeah, seven weeks of school holidays and an unsettled baby meant that I couldn't um, edit this and do my voiceover straight away. So the way I've dealt with having a stitched feature that's double sided is to do a running stitch so instead of going back like you would with a back stitch you're just going to run and miss every second hole so then I went back so here I'm tying it up and then I went back and did it again and filled in the holes that I hadn't gotten so it doesn't look perfect where I've tied it but I'm not bothered by that this is handmade it's not meant to be perfect if I wanted perfect I would do a photo book on I don't know one of those ones where you can upload your photos and do a photo book. But I love the handmade look. 
which is what we all love about scrapbooking. So here I'm, um, I think I'm stitching the next bit. I have cut quite a lot of this out because it's not that exciting. And um, if you're wondering why I haven't zoomed in with my camera, it's because my camera is old and when I zoom in it does not improve the quality of um, of what of my picture. So, and also I wanted you to be able to see, this is the whole album laid out flat. So now I'm just gluing my photos down with Tombow and I have put a white border on them just with cardstock because I like that. You don't have to do that but I think uh, it looks good and it provides separation from the pattern paper. So you can see there that's how that corner piece folds together. And now I'm going through the embellishments. I don't want to use any of those Kaisercraft rhinestones because I don't want my photos to be scratched. I think they work really well on um, you know, one dimensional scrapbook page layouts. I did think about using the word love from the puppy stickers but I thought it was going to get a bit lost and I will save it for another project. So I'm just using some puffies and this is one of the three rolls of washi tape. It's got love and it's got arrows on it. I just adore it. Um, I've just stuck that across the diagonal and then I'm just using my scissors to trim off the excess because normally you'd probably fold that over but with an album like this you do have to be aware that there are parts of it that are double sided. These are the washi strips and shapes, they're gorgeous and the sentiments I thought were perfect. This album does come with two pockets, one on the bottom right and the bottom left. I haven't backed them with any pattern paper, I've just left them plain and off screen I will machine stitch them together. I did use a little bit of Tombow, just dots of Tombow to glue those bits where I wanted them, the um, pocket parts, and then um, yeah like I say stitched them. But I am decorating them with, with the washi tape. The parts that are like a spine I've also decorated them so as you can see below that photo there of her hands. And as I'm going, I'm, I'm realizing there's other parts where I need to put pattern paper or a photo, or both. And I think this is a really beautiful way to showcase some of your favorite photos. Now, these photos are stunning. I will do some layouts with them too. In fact, I really need to. I need to get over my fear of scrapbooking them and just do them. And going back again and adding some more washi tape. So... I'm not wanting to over embellish, I'm wanting to keep it really simple, keep it beautiful, just to really feature these photos. So this is so clever, I just love it. And see here I've realised I need to put a photo onto that blue piece. And I think I printed, oh yeah, two 4x6 photos and I print at home, which enable me to print 12 little photos at 2x2. Two and you'll see that I managed to include all 12 photos. When I printed them, I didn't really think about whether I would need to include them all. I just thought, you know, 4 by 6 I'm going to get 6 onto each one. I don't want to waste any of the um, paper, so the photo paper, so I, I just printed off my favourite ones. This one is, um, it was a little bit crooked, so I just straightened it up. And looking at my puffy stickers again, I just love pink paisley puffies, they're really beautiful quality and they're, they're quite soft, which I like. So this little tag also comes with the album, and I was going to use some white twine, but then I remembered that Renelle had included this lovely, um, like a teal coloured, bluey teal coloured twine, so I'm adding that, and I think it goes really well with the blue behind my photo opposite. Adding my journaling, and I was talking to my child, one of my children at this point, and stuffed up the spelling. So I just turn the tag over, um, switch the twine the way I like it, and just do my journaling on this side. It is the textured side of the cardstock, but hey, it doesn't matter. So I've just said that these are some photos taken by my friend of Brielle. Now, in the pretty little kit, or pretty little pieces, there was this little glittery pink word that says love and I'm just gluing that onto my tag because it needed something to finish it off at the bottom and it needed something that wasn't two dimensional. So that's how the book ends up, or the mini album ends up. 
I did consider adding the rub-ons, but I couldn't really make them work. I did think about having them behind my photos, but I think because they're so beautiful, I didn't want to waste any of them. I wanted them to be seen. So I will be using them on another project as well. Now, I did think about putting another photo on here, and it would have been fine. But I realised that I don't have a title for this album. So I got this pink vellum, or washi, I guess it's like a mix between vellum and washi, butterfly. Now I'm looking at how I'm going to tie this together. Now like I said, it's not going to work with that ribbon. I cut out one of the flowers from the most beautiful paper in this kit. I've just used my pencil to show where to put my glue. And I'm gluing that down. Now immediately following this video of how I made it, I will have a walkthrough in which I will narrate it live. So I'm nearly finished this part of the video, so you'll join me again very, very soon for the walkthrough. So here is my completed album, and it's nice and chunky. And I love the way the cut file is designed to provide some spines on the edge. It's like a little box. So what I did, and you saw it at the end of what you just watched, was me putting this piece of, it's like, um, it's like ribbon, but it's not ribbon. It's what your kit would have been wrapped in, and I love using everything. So what I did was put it through, and you saw me make it. I cut the top part into a fishtail, and I just glued that bit over so it was straight. And then I've just taken a little paper clip. Now, the pretty little pieces come with gold paper clips, but I didn't want to use them. I needed silver to match. So all I've done is sew in a button, a little flower button, that's from my stash as well, and that just makes a closure to hold it together. So for the front sort of cover, I've fussy cut out one of the flowers from my favourite, favourite piece of paper. And let's have a look at the album. So this top bit has got a puffy sticker that says Blossom and Bloom, and then I've got washi tape on both of those pieces. And I put the puffy flower there. I have put one of the vellum butterflies here, and I've just put a bee from my stash for Brielle. And opening it out, there's two photos here. I think I'll do this side first. Another photo there. Um, like this. Now I've kept my embellishment really really simple to a minimum because these photos are so precious and here's a little tag and I've just added the word love that's a little um, little word from the pretty little pieces as well and I've just written beautiful photos of Brielle as a newborn baby taken by Lara Moss and I put the vellum lovely. I have stitched on my machine both of the pockets so here Another photo and the first glimpse of the shape of the pocket. Two more photos. We'll do the top here. And that's the love washi tape. Now probably it may lift up, I'm not really sure. I may even stitch through it. We'll see how it goes. Two more photos. I had to think about embellishing these bits, but I thought no, I really want to keep this simple because my scrapbooking style is to go probably over the top of embellishment or go a bit further than simple. So I really wanted the photos to shine. So there's another photo, uh, my shaker pocket, and in here I've stitched the pocket and two more photos. And I've put the vellum keepsakes. So they just click to there. And so there's the other side of the shaker pocket. So to close it up, that, like this, and then oh, this one first. fold it in together and I'll put it back together so you, excuse me, so you can see how I do it. Stick the stuff in there. And another my paper clip, like so. So I loved making this, I'm definitely going to make this album again. Um, using this cut file. So 
I've linked below these um, website details, so do pop on over there. She has got some amazing free cut files. Um, she's just so talented, and if you do make something, make sure to link back to her so that um, she can get credit for it. So thank you so much for watching, and I will be back again on Tuesday. Take care.